Howdy folks, Cozy Tuna here, how are you doing? Joined me today with a little hedgehog. He's a bit chill. He may have pooped, we don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, this is the EGX vlog, vlog thing that I said I would do in the uh, August vlog. Um, so I'm adding like little challenges every month to try and just progress myself and the channel. Uh, so one of these is this. Uh, so with the we've got the September one coming out next week, which I'm currently writing, but I thought I'd get this smashed out as soon as possible after EGX. So that was yesterday, another year of EGX. Pete, where are you get? What have you seen? What have you smelt? Yeah. So another one, another year down. It's been pretty good actually. It was it was not it was the first one as a bigger streamer. Um. Hugo, what what do you want? Anyway, we'll, we'll just continue as he mills around. Um, yeah, first it was quite good. Like, I was quite proud of sending out the um, the business cards. Um, and just even if nothing comes of it, like, I'm quite quite happy that I was confident enough in my streamer ability to do so. And met quite a few good devs. Um, it was, like, EGX mostly these days is me going to go see people I, I don't only see at EGX. But there's a few devs that I know. And Oh, oh, little yawn, are we? Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Um, but yeah, this year, met with the nerds, had a crazy drive down. Um, are you out there, hog? Are you okay? Would you like a, another side? Do you want hog? Um, yeah, met some of the devs from uh, Chucklefish. So played a bit of Wargroove, and that was absolutely incredible. Um, got some really good swag from them. Um, do you want? Do you want down? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stupid hogs. Um, yeah, where were we? Uh, yeah, met the Chucklefish devs. They were good nerds. Um, quite liked the fact that. Um, they, I, I basically just approached them with the question that, what are you doing with content creators and are you getting, in, getting them involved? I said, oh yeah, we've got a list. And I was like, fire business cards. Um, so yeah, that was cool. Um, got to play on Titled Goose Game. That, I think that and Wargroove are my picks from the show. Um, so yeah, if you get a chance to play them before they release. Very good. Very, very good. Um, card game wise, which I know a lot of my audience plays card games, uh, I didn't really see that many. There wasn't really any representation from like Artifact or any of the big players usually. There was a Hearthstone tournament, but I don't think that was on on the day I was there. Um, did get to play the new Warhammer TCG. Um, that's the physical and there's a digital version, but I didn't really, I've not really had a chance to play the digital one yet. Um, some interesting mechanics. Um, so I'm quite curious to see how that plays out. Apparently it's getting a ranked mode in the digital version next month. So I might have a look into that, but it's not getting released on Steam for a while, so we'll have to use an emulator. But anyway, I'll cross that bridge. Um, did also speak to the devs of a card game called Shadow Era. Um, potential there for some sort of collaboration, seemed quite keen. Uh, we exchanged business cards, so I'm going to be looking into that over the next couple of weeks. Uh, what else was going on? Uh, da -da -da -da. There's some just old games in the left field section again. It's one of the guys um, that I've, I've, he's done a few events around in Bristol and he's like a very experimental indie dev and this time he turned up with a paper shredder that you just shred books and that was part of the the game you have to shred books and write answers on them it was it's, it's, it's like a, a, a thing about dealing with grief and loss it was, it was quite quite deep for a video game about a paper shredder but you know it, it, it was quite fun uh, so yeah, what else we're doing? Uh, swag wise, I mean, uh, all cons, it's all about the swag really. Um, basically, the, there was no like, um, t like it was just, a, you got your standard wristband, which, alright, it's plain, got Argos on it. Um, picked up a lanyard, which is quite nice, it's a bit short, but for two quid, what can you expect? Um, 
Got the Wargroove stuff, sticker from on the stand. Oh, can, can you focus? And I got a very exclusive EGX only pin, um, which is just their logo as a pin. Um, yeah, super stoked for that game. Uh, what else did we see? I saw, um, there wasn't actually that much. We got a few Steam games that may appear on the channel, may not. We'll see how it goes. Um, they're just in a pile over there, so I can't really show you them without ha having to hide the keys. I can't be bothered. Um, one thing I did see, there was some artwork by a, 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 a man named James Burks. Uh, I'll put it in my beard too. But he did some great Street Fighter and Star Wars artwork. And while it doesn't have, I don't have that affinity or like, um, I, I want, I, I want to get away from relationship, but. It's not stuff I'd hang on the wall, but the artwork style was absolutely stunning. I'll put a link to it below in, in the description, and I might pop up some on screen around me. Because it's top-notch. If, if you're into, like, Street Fighter, or just general art, beautiful art, go and give him a look, give him a follow. Um, but the king of swag, it, like, EGX swag has been a bit spotty the past few years. Like, after the, um... Uh, the little Hitman bobblehead, if you went to that year. Oh, it must have been what, 2011? 2012? It was before Hitman got rebooted, so it was another Hitman before then. But essentially, went to the, the for the King of Swag, it goes to uh, at the young surgeon simulator, Foam Finger, where I was being extra, uh, instructed by Ol Ol uh, Oliver, age 24, to get, get in the finger line and acquire a finger for signing up to their mailing list. So yeah. This is going to appear in pretty much all my videos from now on. Just so yeah, that was... Oh! Other swag-wise, some honourable mentions. Uh, someone gave me the Metro 20... Well, not 2088, but the new... Uh, the new Metro... Um, dog tag, which was alright. And the, the weirdest thing that I got given at EGX was this... Uh, PS4 wristband, but it's quite small. Like, I'm pretty sure it, it, it's it got, like, it just seems a bit too small for a, like, what, what, whose tiny wrists is this going to fit on? Like a child's? Like, that's, it, it's almost, um, phallus ring sized. Um, so that's going to go over there. Um, uh, how's it? Oh yeah, we did get some codes. Oh yeah, that's we did speak about that. Oh, yeah, it was like everyone buy my game. I didn't fire out my business cards to anyone just anywhere because I've just got this primal fear of seeing a, a discarded business card on the floor. It's ter it terrifies us. It ter yeah, terrifies me. Uh, so yeah, Metal with Funes I've not seen for ages, which is awesome. Um, hung out with some indie devs and just just chilled. It was a really like it was the first time I've been there since it opened till it closed. Because usually I'm done by about 3, 4 o'clock and I was like, oh, I just, just want to go home. Um, but it was worth it. Um, Events-wise, we've got Twitch London in November, but we'll probably cover that a bit closer to the time. Um, but yeah, overall, EGX, big thumbs up. Good swag, good show. Oh, there was that stand that had all the Pornhub t-shirts, which seemed just like an odd move. A very odd move. Um... Maybe, maybe lay off that a bit, EGX. Um, yeah, family event and all that. And, alright, well, I've been memeing it up. Thank you all for tuning in, and the September vlog will be out in a week or so, maybe? Future me will sort that out. Take care, nerds. Have a good one.